Here it is, guys. This is our Virginia Tech rebuild, man. We're going to bring these guys back up to contenders like they used to be. The first thing we have to do is go find a new head coach, someone who's got a little bit of experience, bring him a squad that used to be good back up to being good. Um, we had another choice. We knew we had the right guy when we went with Marvin Lewis from the Bengals. After the 90s, Marvin Lewis was hired to bring the Bengals back to contenders. He did that. However, after about 15 years, Marvin was unable to bring them a Super Bowl, let alone a playoff win, and he was let go for by the Cincinnati Bengals. Had a successful tenure there, but just not enough to get no playoff wins. He recently was the Arizona State assistant coach, but now he gets his hands on a full-time job as head coach of Virginia Tech, and here's his first game as a college football head coach against Penn State. We're going to start this off with the freshman quarterback, Farrell. You're going to hear this name a lot this year and next in the coming years, baby, with a dot to Caleb Smith. Farrell's an athletic freshman. Marvin Lewis likes that he can use his legs out here, and he's got an accurate ball to him for a freshman. You'll see right here on the comeback route, Caleb Smith makes a great throw catch, too. They'll go into the ground. Here we see Farrell, corner route wide open. Jaden Bull, you're going to hear that name a lot. He's a great receiver. Big play, Tabler. First drive of the year, these Virginia Tech Hokies will score. Here's Farrell looking for more breaks, a tackle, and the freaking should have been brought down. Then he looks downfield. He doesn't go for the run. Keeps his eyes downfield. Jaden Blue wide open, 31 yards. Here on second and goal, we're going to give it to the sophomore superstar running back. That's his first. Won't be his last of the game. Here comes Farrell some more. Up 14-3. to three. Penn State answers with a field goal. Once again, the accuracy on the run to Blue. Jaden Blue again. I'm telling you, get that name in your head. Farrell right here looking, same drive, We're hitting Smith again, and then the sophomore running back's going to end the second straight drive, a touchdown, 21-3. to Penn State would go match this one, though, with a field goal of their, a touchdown of their own, and Farrell looking to add to this lead, but he kind of gets in trouble with the pick right to King, man, try to force it to his all-star receiver, and that's going to be trouble every time. Now, first and 10 here. Clifford has all day. He's going to take off with it. And now we start to see why this defense has not been good, bro. All these non-tackles here on set first and go very next play, too. Trying to hold them. No tackles right here. Artis is going to make a big missed tackle. Uh, Nelson couldn't get them. And that's a touchdown. Penn State, here they come getting back in the game. Farrell, though, saying, yo, we're, I may have threw a pick. We coming back for it, though, with a dot right there. Hand off to Thomas. Nice gain right here of nine yards. Down into the red zone here. Farrell trying to make another command in the league, and he's going to go to Jaden. But the safety, Wheatley's going to pick that one off. He's going to get around the 40 before Dan Zashi knocks him out of bounds. And here's a big third and seven on the ensuing drive. VTech can get off the field, but Washington's going to take it. He's going to break one. He's going to break two. He's going to break three tackles. And right down the middle of the field, Penn State will take the lead. Freshman here trying to make a good drive, get back into this game. He's going to take off. Athletic ability is there for this freshman. That's the one thing, and that's what Marvin Lewis has said on 4th down and 10, though, the accuracy for defenders. Marvin Lewis gushes about his athleticism, saying this looks like back in the day with Mike Vick, Tyrod Taylor, when they used to have all these athletic quarterbacks. We might be going back to that time frame, and you uh, – Virginia Tech fans. Now, right here, freshman mistake. You throw it inbounds, no timeouts. Now the clock's running. You had a chance to tie this game up right before halftime, but now they're going for it. They're not spiking it. Call to play right here. Freshman's going to take it. Try to use some of the athletic ability. Scramble. He's got one in the back, but why stops? He throws it. Incomplete. That could be a big three points missing right there, right before halftime. Penn State does score on their suing drive right after halftime to go up 10. But here comes Jaden Blue hooking up with the freshman again. Freshman having such a good game here. And here he is taking a big hit, throwing it. But this would knock him out of the game. Good touchdown, but he's not going to be able to come back from that hit. And that's really going to put issues down for Virginia Tech without their starting quarterback. But here, defense, big sack right there. They needed it. And a big stand right there on third and 16. They almost picked it up. And you'll see here, Wells taking the controls of the offense. Not as not as good with the athletic ability, but he does have an arm. And Marvin loses trust him like right here across the middle. Good throw. Jaden Blue again making big plays. VTech down by three, going to hand it off to the sophomore. And here he comes, baby, untouching to the one-yard line. He's going to drag him in. Virginia Tech will take the lead. And with that lead, after a big stop, third and three, the sophomore sensation, Thomas, going for 38 yards here, folks. 
Big run by him. Very next play is going to be a play action. They didn't see it coming. The tight end is wide open. One man to beat. Bam, baby. Run him over. Get in there. Go up by 10. Here, three-point game, though. Third down and three. Big play here. The junior quarterback throws it to Smith. Their all-star. That's going to get him the win. What a Marvin Lewis in his first game as head coach of the um, Hokies. Able to get that win against Penn State. That's not easy to do. They have a really great defense. The freshman look good. He will be back against Louisville. Likely enough, it was not a serious injury. But, man, what a debut for Marvin Lewis. We got Louisville next. Do you guys think Marvin Lewis was the right hire? Let me know in the comments. And do you think we're going to go 2-0? Or do you think Louisville might win? And we go 0-1, not only in conference play, but 1-1 before a big game against Notre Dame.